guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the difference between fall sorority recruitment and spring sorority recruitment. So I know some schools do have their formal recruitment in the spring, but today I'm going to be talking about schools like mine, schools like UCF, that have their formal recruitment in the fall and informal recruitment in the spring. I get asked quite a bit what the difference is between fall and spring recruitment and which one should I go through. So today hopefully this video can help you guys out. So first off I want to give a little disclaimer. I did go through fall recruitment so I don't know a whole lot about spring recruitment but I did want to make this video just because I know a lot of people on the outside of recruitment have no idea what spring recruitment is and don't even know if it's an option. So I thought I would just share the knowledge that I do have about spring and fall recruitment. So the first thing that I do want to say is that formal recruitment always happens. It happens every year unless your sorority is on probation or something like that. But it usually always happens every single year. And spring recruitment, at least at my school, only really happens if a sorority needs more girls. So they have to meet quota, and if they don't have enough girls to meet quota, then they will take girls in spring recruitment. So fall recruitment is more formal. You have UCF day one, UCF day two, philanthropy day, video day, preference night, and you also have bid day, so actually kind of six days. It is kind of overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, but it is so worth it in the end. Spring recruitment is informal. I'm pretty sure that sororities can choose when to have their recruitment events in spring. It's definitely more casual and just like a lot more laid back. Sometimes PMs will even get to come to meal plan to meet sisters. And there is still usually a bid day celebration, but not as big as the fall celebration. So for fall formal recruitment, each sorority does have to participate in this. So going in as a PM, you have so many more options, and this is definitely an advantage. In spring, not every chapter has to participate. So going in as a PM, it's kind of sad that you won't get to see all of these houses and you won't get to learn about them. You won't get to meet the girls in the sorority and you definitely have less options to pick from. During fall formal recruitment, each chapter takes a bunch of girls. Usually depending on the school, it's somewhere from like 60 to 100 or even higher than that. I know for my school and my chapter, we usually take like 50 to like 65, I think. But I'm pretty sure a lot of other schools, like a lot of bigger schools, take like 100 and more. For spring recruitment, they aren't taking that many girls. They can take up to like 1 to 15 girls, but it always depends and it's different for every chapter. Fall formal recruitment is definitely more structured. It has like a whole schedule and it is a little bit crazy. It's a whole week thing from the AM to the PM and I don't know, it could be very overwhelming for some people. While spring is a little bit more easygoing and honestly sometimes people just pick spring just so they won't have to go through fall recruitment. So for fall recruitment, you register through Panhellenic and you don't know any of these sororities really, like at least I didn't know anyone in them. But for spring, this is where it's super different because usually spring recruitment happens really fast. You usually get people that sisters already know or that are already friends with to come to the house and check it out. So like I said, fall is very structured and that means that they kind of have like an outfit requirement a little bit. So UCF day one and two, you're wearing t-shirts and cute pair of shorts. And then philanthropy day is just like a casual sundress and then video day is a little bit fancier and then prep night is like a cocktail dress um but for spring recruitment it's super different like maybe sometimes you'll wear like a casual romper or something like a top and jeans or something like that but for the most part it's really casual i don't think you have to wear like heels or anything like that so that's pretty much all of the comparisons that i have for you guys today but i did want to give you guys my little input and you guys know I'm a little bit biased because I did go through fall recruitment, but I really do think that is the best option because you have so many houses to choose from, unlike spring recruitment where maybe two houses are only doing it that year. You never know. So I understand if you're transferring from another school and you want to get into the Greek system really, really fast, but I don't know. For me, I would just wait till the real thing and hold off the semester. I promise you it'll be worth the wait. But if you are someone that gets overwhelmed very easily then spring recruitment is definitely a good option for you so that's it of this video let me know if you guys have any more questions about the difference between fall and spring recruitment and i will try to answer them down below and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys <laughs>